almost all features are confirmed. Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well. Apple is going to launch iPhone 14 Pro with some Pro features and Samsung is going to help them in display technology. Meanwhile, LG is also in the game for supplying the display for iPhone 14 lineup. Apple is going to launch iPhone 14 lineup in September this year and even Apple is dropping the idea of mini and giving the max version in the base model. But this could be a thing because Apple is using the old internals in base model of iPhone 14. Before moving on, if you like the content, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which one would you prefer? Apple is going to get a display for iPhone 14 Pro solely from Samsung. A 6.1 inches LTPO display with a pinhole cut out. But other devices like 14 Pro Max, 14 and 14 Max may get a mix of display from LG and Samsung. Meanwhile, LG is mostly working on iPad OLED panels for this year, getting a schematic from a Chinese version of Twitter Vivo, where we see a significant camera bump on iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max models. And it is because Apple is going to use 48 megapixel main lens on iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, which will lift up the game for the iPhone 14 Pro lineup from the previous generation 12 megapixel lens from iPhone 13 Pro Max. Meanwhile, iPhone 14 and 14 Max will going to get two lenses on the back, just like the last year base models. And there is one bad news where you can see a price jump on all the models of iPhone 14 lineup. iPhone 14 for $799, 14 Max for $899, 14 Pro for $1099, and 14 Pro Max for whopping $1199. And if the leak comes true about the 2TB version of the iPhone 14 Pro Max, then we can see $2000 for 2TB version. And we may see the rebranded version of A15 Bionic chip for base models iPhone 14 and 14 Max to A16. But Pro models will going to get the actual A16 Bionic chip and that chip could call A16 Pro chipset. We may also see some RAM updates in the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro Max. For now, these are just rumors and nothing is confirmed. If Apple is sticking with these leaks, then iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max will be the best option to avail with this new technology, new display and amazing 48 megapixel camera. So with that being said, if you came this far, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Which one would you prefer? I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.